Good evening, everyone. Good Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good Ada. Evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Gisela. How have you been? How have you been? Good. How are you tonight? Good, sir. Thank you. And you? Just fine. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for asking. It's a pleasure. Now, Marco got into the class. I wonder what happened yesterday to Marco. Hello, Esmeralda. Hi. Hi. Do you the favor to activate your camera? Please, Marco, how's it going? Good evening. I'm Good evening. very good and you. It's fine. Hey, Marco, what happened to you yesterday? I didn't see you in the class. Oh, I couldn't connect it for my connection. You had connection. problems with your internet yesterday? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, I'm so sorry to know about it. Okay, but it was kind of um weird because you are in the class all the time and you are participating actively. That's why I was wondering around what happened to you yesterday. <laughs> yes, I had yeah. some technical problems, but now I'm here. Now you are here and now we are happy to see you in the class again. Well, people, uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm really happy to see you in the class. And, you know, I have something to tell you uh, about, about the course. You know, this course is almost ending. It's almost at the end. The, you are, we are still missing one week, right? The next week is going to be the last week. And that means that you, um, you have to finish all the activities that are, that, that, that are included in the platform. Okay, that's very important that you can finish all the activities in the platform. Something else that uh, I was just telling you yesterday is about the assistance. It's very important that you get into the class um, to, well, that, that you don't miss classes. That's very important, right? That you that you get an 80% of your assistance in this course, okay? So, uh, Marco, I wonder if you noticed about the homework I assigned yesterday? You didn't Honestly, no. You didn't investigate, right? <laughs> no. Okay, Honestly. but don't worry. You will see something people have prepared for, for the group boy here. I have Moses. I have Janelle. Hello, Moses. Hello, Janelle. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Do you have a favor to activate your camera, please? Remember, quite Hello. important. Yeah. Hello, Janelle. Hello, Ricardo. You can see Ricardo in the class, Ricardo Fabricio. Okay, now people, remember that we are in church of practicing uh, the information we have we have been studying lately. Is that right? What's what's the information we have been studying? Who remembers? Well, Marco, you know you know the topic for this week, Marco. What have what have been what have we been studying during the week? Let me see. Moments. Then it says, "All right, then it's." Ah, uh, describing people. Okay, so we have been learning how to describe people. Yesterday we continue doing so, but yesterday we were practicing some conversations. Okay, we completed the the exercise I I assigned the last time, and tonight people are in church or presenting different families. Okay different families okay i hope that you could do the homework because well this is a great opportunity to put into practice what we have been uh, learning lately we are going to start with ada okay solo que no me lo puedo solo lo investigue lo puedo leer Okay, so it, the, are you going to share something with the group? Okay. Uh, okay, okay, Ada. Ada is going to let us, is going to help us with the information she, she got. 
After Ada, we're going to continue with Gisela. So get ready, Gisela. The, the Teddy family. Teddy family. This year, yes. This year is about the experience of an ordinary family from fictional Ciudad Peluche. The family is made up of Federica, a superfluous wife, who is a in share of controlling the house, the Peluche family, Ludovico, a closing and gullible husband, who is a, just listening to his wife orders, Ludovicito, the youngest son who always knows how to take advantage of others. Junior, a second son who was a policeman until Federica ran over here to avoid being jailed. Ludovico and Federica tell him that he is a shield and that he is adopted. Bibi, who is the eldest daughter, tell, tell him consider a stronger girl. And Excelsa, a lazy mate from Argentina, who is fan of the Boca Juniors team. That was it, Ada? Okay, pretty good. That's 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 really good, right? That's a Mexican family that appears on TV, right? Okay, so Gisela is in church now, and after Gisela, uh, Jocelyn, get ready with the info, please. After Gisela, Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn, go ahead. The Phantom family, the of Danny Phantom. Did you prepare any presentation or you will speak uh, only? Si tengo, permítame entonces. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The Phantom family. Uh, Jack Phantom. He's he's the fa he's the father of Jazz and Danny. He is tall, fast. He has black hair and clumsy. He is a bad ghost hunter, except when his family is in danger. Madeline Medi Phantom. She's the mo she's the mother of ja Jazz and Danny Danny and Jack's wife. She's a slim, middle no, medium, medium height with a straight red hair. She's and she's very smart. She's a great. She's a great scientist and a ghost hunter, even better than her husband. Jasmine, Jazz Phantom, she's the oldest daughter of Jack and Maddie and the, and the big sister of Danny 
she's 16 years old and she's slim and long red hair and she's she's very smart and serious Daniel James Fenton or Danny Fenton he's 14 years old he's thin and no when when he when he is a human his his eyes are blue and his hair is black and and when he turns into a ghost no ghost <laughs> his eyes are green and he and his hair is gray <laughs> Oh, that was fantastic. Okay. You provided information, physical information, and also something related to personality. That was the purpose, right? Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Uh, uh, Gisela. And now we continue with Jocelyn, right? Okay, teacher. Can right. I share me? Sure, you can. Thank you. Uh, give me one second, please. Um, uh, Marco, if you haven't uh, prepared anything, just get information right now because you. I will ask you. Marco, think about a family that you want to present. Okay, get some, some okay. information. And if you are not able to memorize it, well, just uh, read the information you got in the net. Okay, yeah, Jesse. Because... Yeah, you can start. Okay. This is family Turner. This family consists of parents and a son. Uh, this, these are Mr. and Mrs. Turner. Mr. Turner is tall. He has white skin and black hair and blue eyes. He's he is irresponsible and causes a lot of a lot of trouble. And Mrs. Turner, he has white skin and she has blue eyes and she has. She has blonde hair. And she is very romantic, romantic and very intense. Timmy Turner is short. He he has white skin and brown hair and blue eyes. He is very curious and and he is very adventure she he has two two good two magical good parents one that is cosmo and cosmo one that is very very short she has white skin and pink hair and pink eyes she is very smart and angry cosmo is very short and he has white skin and green hair and green eyes. They have wings and a crown and can fly. This is all teacher. Wow, excellent. Very good, Jocelyn. Uh, I hope that you have learned a lot through this activity, okay? Because that's the purpose, uh, to study vocabulary that we didn't study during the class, okay? Now, let me see, after Jocelyn, we have uh, Claudia, Claudia, and after Claudia, Dennis. Okay, so Dennis, get ready, please. Dennis, and after Dennis, Oscar. Okay, Claudia, go ahead. Hola, la teacher. Hello. 
eh, la presentación se la voy a brindar posteriormente, no la he realizado. Ok. Sorry. So, uh, okay, Claudia. Claudia, you need more time. You need some more time. Well, it seems it seems as if Claudia is facing some problems. So, Claudia, meanwhile you solve the problems, we are going to ask Dennis, okay? Okay, Claudia? All right, so, Dennis. Yes. Okay, Dennis, go ahead. Okay. Boy. After Oscar Jonel. Sorry. One moment, teacher. Okay. I have a little problem. Okay, just try to solve it. Uh, if you need some more time, just let me know it. Okay. Um, it, it's okay? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. I will tell you a little about group and let me a little crazy about fam family. And he is Gru, and Gru he is a little villano, and he has a one dreams in your life, and he needed the moon, and he is a little villain, and needed a control in the world, and I have a a li a, a little information in the presentation. You read? No, I mean, it's all right. Okay. It's all right. And he is Gru, and I have, um, and what does Gru look like? And she is blood, and you can see, and he has a big eyebrows, and he has a gigant nose, and he only wears black, and he is very tall, and he is very hungry, and he doesn't love the children for the moment, but he didn't know love children, but one day life for him and also no love. Uh, a little about this life, he's very reserved and he's a complicated person and he has a complicated personality and he is proof, okay? And I have one little video in this moment where uh, he, he see in his three daughters. I play. Okay, ellas son eh, Marco, Edith, and Agnes, and he, he, his son, uh, daughter for the group, 
in this moment he having a click in your hair, but is a sweet girl. But Drew, who just make his family bigger, while Don Drew already have the minions, is a small family. And, and the minions is minions is a little group and um and I searching a villano and minions uh, have a group. And a little family that now is biggest. And after a long history, we have a group family, a detective, his uh, wife to group, a scientist is a best friend to group, and a hungry grandma, he is a grandma for the group, and many minions. There are little demons, and three little demons, and Agnes, Margo, and and so I trust many minions. I finished. I don't listen, teacher. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dennis. Now we'll provide some observations at the end because I, I can notice that you have uh, done a great day for tonight. That's what I, I was telling you. Okay, pretty good. Now I still have time for, for one or two people more. Okay, one or two people more who want to participate and then we go to the activities in the platform. Esmeralda. And after Esmeralda, I want to listen to, well, I, I need a volunteer. Who wants to, who wants to participate tonight? Teacher, I, I didn't do the activities. I didn't do the activities. Okay. I hope that you can complete them. Okay. And share, share it, share it to me later. Cause it's very important. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if, I don't know if there is another participant who want to who wants to share the info. I'm missing the chair. Okay. Okay, Mary, go ahead. Only to share one picture. It's all right. Um, It's all right. Oh. No, I I speak only teacher. It's all right. Go ahead. City with the handsome. They is the people. Albertano, the Victor, and Mrs. Cuquita. Albertano is tall, black hair, is black. The Victor is uh, very tall. Black hair, black eyes, uh, brunette skin. Both are very funny. They are not handsome. They are dreaming. Mrs. Kita very short and short black hair, black eyes. Always help these uh, these two guys. And finish, teacher. Okay, Mary, fantastic. I uh, appreciate your effort. Now I will provide some observations about your presentations. 
because uh, this is going to help you in the future. I mean, in this course, it's going to help you, and in the in the in the following course, for sure, it's going to be helpful. Uh, if you still continue with me or with another teacher, well, it's going to be quite good for you to uh, notice the way to uh, practice the information in advance. Eh, cuando, cuando se les asigne este tipo de actividades, yo sé que lo han hecho, ok, que han practicado eh, el vocabulario, ok, y que buscaron la información, lo primero que les sugiero es que cuando busquen la información acerca de un tema, no la vayan a buscar en español y después traducirla al inglés, eso, eso no les va a funcionar, ok. Y si les va a funcionar, les va a funcionar a, a un 60, 70%. Pero es mejor si ustedes se van directamente a buscar la información en inglés. ¿Por qué? Porque son personas americanas o personas que hablan el inglés. Eh, son nativos y ellos pues han escrito la información. O sea, no, prácticamente no van a encontrar errores ahí. Lo único que cuando ustedes busquen esa información, asegúrense de um, buscar pronunciación, okay? practicarla y asegurarse que su pronunciación está siendo este, aprendida de la mejor manera. Se lo digo porque, uh, let me si quiero ver que anoté por acá. Ah, bueno. Este, respecto a, a, a la pronunciación era lo que yo había notado lo otro es que uh, cuando hagan este, estas presentaciones eh, les sugiero que lo hagan sin necesidad de leer ok que es, no les estoy pidiendo que sea una presentación de cinco minutos sino que de que sea de un minuto y medio de dos minutos pero que ustedes se vayan este, guardando el vocabulario en su, en su mentecita Acuérdense que mientras más lo practiquemos, es mejor. Mientras más vocabulario eh, vayamos guardando en nuestra alcancita aquí en nuestra mente, eh, va a ser más fructífero en el futuro. ¿Ok? Uh, well, no sé si hay preguntas. Si no, nos vamos con las actividades del, de la plataforma. We still have 30 minutes and we have a lot of words to do. No question. No questions. All right. So let's no move on. Let's move on, people, because we have something else to do over here. Oh, let me see. All right. Oh, wait a minute. It's not this part, but it is this part. All right. Over here. Oops. Is the this is for the next week. Section five is for next week. So we're still working in section four, right? All right, so the lesson for tonight, it's about modifiers, okay? We're going to see information about modifiers with participles, okay? There are participles, present participles, past participles, okay? And we have some modifiers. We're going to see what's going on with this, okay? First off, we're going to see it in a conversation, okay? And then we're going to see some grammar. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. We're going to uh, listen to it. Okay, we're going to see the situation that's happening here. Okay, we're going to identify some structures and then we're going to go over the grammar. Now, do you listen to it? No, 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 no I'm sorry. So, no. I will share it again. It was my fault. Now, yes. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. 
As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. All right, so we have this conversation, okay? And let's see. We're going to listen to it the second time. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Oh, I, I'd like to meet her. Hey, what is the situation in the conversation, people? What is the conversation? I mean, what is the situation in the conversation? Como un convivio. Uh, okay, they, they are having like a party. Let us let us read once, once again. Hi, Roll. Good to see you. Where's Maki? Uh, she couldn't make it. What's the meaning of uh, she couldn't make it? She couldn't make it. Ella no pudo. Okay, so she couldn't get there, right? Maggie couldn't uh, get to the meeting. She couldn't be there. Now, she went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she, is she the woman wearing glasses over here, uh, over there? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Uh, oh, I'd like to meet her. Now, who who is Julia? The, the, is the lady wearing glasses? No, no, it's the girl near from the near the window. How do you describe her? Oh, she stole. She she has stole long black hair. Uh, black long hair. black hair. She's wearing jeans. Uh, uh, she's wearing gray jeans. Gray jeans. Uh, she's wearing a gray jacket. She's wearing a a gray jacket. And, and that's it. Yes. Well, and that's it, right? Oh, actually, the guy was. Talking about here, right? About Julia. Okay, that was it. Now that we have seen this information, especially this one, is is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Now, we're going to see the grammar that's implied in this conversation, people. We're going to see some grammar about modifier. We're going to see what a, what's a modifier and what's a participle, okay? Let's move on. 10, 11, over here. Now in here, we continue with modifiers and participles and prepositions, okay? Now let's move on. Keep it in mind, okay? That's our goal. Now, this is grammar, okay? And we are gonna see uh, some information similar to the one that I share in, in the WhatsApp group, okay? We are going to see modifiers with participles and prepositions. Let's take a look at it, please. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. All right, so now we're going to go over it step by step. 
Uh, what are participles? We have present participles and, and, and the present participles are uh, the ones that are in ing form, okay? ing. He's the man wearing a green shirt, wearing. He's the one talking to Liz. He's the one eating some pizza, for example. He's the one drinking some coffee, etc. Okay, so you need to include the participle in order to identify the noun. Let's let's see what's going on with the prepositions. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay, now I will, I will get modify back. Modify the noun. In and this case. Now let's take a look at it. According to what the lady uh, explained, people, this is quite important. Now we have uh, common nouns and proper nouns. Is that right? In this case, man, man is a common noun or a proper noun. It's a common noun, right? And what about wearing a green shirt? Wearing, wearing a green shirt is modifying, modifying, okay? That's why they are called modifiers. Okay, they are called modifiers because they modify the noun, okay? These are participles, they are not verbs, and the, and the expression itself is modifying the man. He is the man wearing the green shirt. Now, he is the one, one. Now, one is a pronoun, indefinite pronoun, okay? And talking to Liz. Talking to Liz is the the, the, the participle that's modifying the pronoun, okay? In the other, on the other hand, we have prepositions. With, in, Next to on. What happened with these prepositions? Well, it's almost similar. The difference is that instead of using participles, we are using prepositions, right? Uh, over here we have the woman, which is a, a common noun. Uh, she's the tall one. The tall one is the, the pronoun. They are the people, which is a, a common noun and the ones that are pronouns. Now, the expression expresses extra information, right? She's the woman, but which woman? Ah, the woman uh, that has short black hair. The woman with short black hair is modifying the noun. Now, She's the tall one. Yeah, but actually, who's that one? The one in jeans. No other one, but the one that's wearing jeans. Okay? And what about there that they are the people? Uh -huh. But what about extra info? Okay, the people next to the window. No other people, but those people. Okay? And they are the ones on the coach, okay? The ones on the coach, extra information about them. They provide specific information about them. They somehow modify the noun, provide extra information about the noun. 
Any question? No questions? Okay. If you, if you don't have questions, we're going to move to the next part. We're going to solve some exercises. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's better to solve exercises because, you know, grammar, uh, oh. sometimes grammar tends to confuse people. But let's move on to the oh. next part, okay, which is an, an, uh, an exercise. And I think we are almost uh, finishing with, with the course. We're still missing like 10 or 12 minutes. I know we are missing 20. Now, in the knowledge check, there are some instructions over here. Okay. And you are in charge of choosing the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions correctly. Okay, the keywords are with principles or with prepositions in a correct way. In the first one, let me see. Clark is the guy, is the tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and car cargo pants. Now, and we have two options over here. Clark is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and a cargo pants. Or Clark is the tall guy who wears a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. What is the what is the best option? One or two? The first one, teacher. The one. first one. Why the first one? one? Why the why the first one and not the second one? Uh, for the participle, um, the participle goes in ing form. Ah, that's right. Uh, no. Is it because we are using a participle, right? Clark is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and a cargo pants. Okay. Very good. We will check it later. In the second one, who, who helps me to read? The second one. Who wants to help me with the second one? Adam. Adam. Logan. Aiden and Lowe's. Uh huh. Aiden and Lowe's are the good looking couple. Couple. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Couple. No, couple. Couple. Okay. Are the are the good looking couple? They are talking to Tom. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Louis are uh, the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. So what are the two options? Adam and Louis are the good looking couple talking to Tom, or Adam and Louis is the good looking couple talking to Tom. Are the good looking teacher? Are, are you uh, sure is one. are? What is the difference in, between both sentences? What is the difference between this one and this one? R is. Ah? R is. Ah, R and is. So is that the difference? Is that the only difference? This is the one options. Is a good looking? Couple talking to Tom. Yeah, this is the only difference, right? So, uh, what's the best option? Because Luis and, and uh, Adam and Luis are the good-looking couple talking to Tom. Adam and Luis is. What's the best option? One or two? One option. The first one. Okay, the one. next one. Okay, let's go over the next. Let's go over the next one. Who wants to help me with this one? Lynn is the younger. Uh, she's, um, she's in a strip t-shirt and blue jeans. All right, let us, let us notice about the difference between uh, both answers. Lynn is the young, the young girl in a strip t-shirt and blue jeans.
What's the difference? A stripped and a stripped. A stripped. This is the difference, right? So what do you think is the be the best option? The one no, the first one. Oh, the first one is the best option. All right. Number four. To be the favor, please. Jessica. Jessica is the attractive woman. She is sitting to the left. Okay. Uh, first one. Okay. Remember to keep your microphone closed if you're not participating. Now, the first one, you said the first one. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left to an oven, Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Okay, the difference is between the singular and plural, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So we're almost done. AJ, do the favor, people, help me with the number five. AJ. AJ. AJ is the serious looking boy. He is listening to his new salsa CD. Okay, so what's the best option here? Once. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. AJ yes. is the serious looking boy listens. Ah, the difference is with the part. Listening right? and see listens. And listens. Yes. Okay, so let's check it to notice if we did it in the correct way. Okay. The first one, pretty good. The second one, it's all right. Third one, number four, and number five. Fantastic. So I, I can see that you don't have any problems with it. Okay, and that's why we're going to move on to the last part, okay? This is the 413. Well, I think I think we finished, right? This is the last one. This is I think this is the last. Yeah, we moved to the to the number five. So we're gonna stop over here, and I will let you know uh, about about some activity for for the next for the next week. Okay, now we stop sharing. Le voy a dar algunas indicaciones. Recuérdense que es es sumamente necesario que hagan las actividades de la plataforma, que asistan eh, a, a la mayoría de las clases, si no a todas, pues por lo menos un 80, 90% de asistencia es súper es necesario para nosotros. Es de mucho interés. Ok. Um, la otra semana vamos a comenzar con un tema que se llama Present Perfect Tense. Ok. Present Perfect Tense. En el chat les voy a escribir qué es lo que necesito para la próxima semana. Todos, todos este, lo van a compartir el día lunes. Lo primero... Look at it. Look at the chat, please. You are going to talk about 10 activities. 10 activities you have done in the past five years. You have done, but it may be lately, right? Lately. That's the first. Then, you, you're going to tell us about 
uh, some activities you have done lately. Do you want to talk about the activities you haven't done lately? That's the second one. Then activities you haven't done lately. And the last one, share an experience, share an exciting experience with the group. Okay, so there you have. So eso, yo sé que todavía no lo hemos estudiado, por eso los mando a que investiguen cómo, cómo decir que 10, 10 actividades que, que ustedes han realizado últimamente, oigan bien, eh, porque esto es sumamente importante, nos estamos moviendo de, yo creo que ustedes ya estudiaron lo que es pasado simple, presente simple, y ahora pues nos vamos a mover al presente perfecto. Para el presente perfecto es necesario que ustedes manejen los pasados participios. Si ustedes se fijaron en la clase de ahora, estuvimos viendo los participles, pero esos participles eran pre, eh, en presente, present participles. Todos los, los verbos en ING son present participles. ¿Ok? Present participles. Cuando ustedes escuchan a un docente decir, ok, let us work with present participles. Eh, a form of verbs, ya ustedes ya saben que esto son los verbos en ING. No, en realidad son formas verbales en, en ING. Pero para, para presente perfecto, ustedes tienen que eh, empezar a aprenderse las formas del pasado participio. Y les voy a escribir, por ejemplo, yo sé que ustedes tienen o han estudiado ciertas listas en, por ejemplo, si yo digo el pasado de go, ¿cuál es el pasado de go? When. When. ¿Cuál es el pasado When. participio? Gone. Ah, gone. Entonces, a eso quiero que le presten atención. En el chat he puesto las tres, miren. El, el go es en su forma base. El went está en pasado. Y gone es el que me interesa que ustedes empiecen a practicar. ¿Ok? Se los menciono porque va, por ejemplo, los, el, pasado de, el pasado participio de los verbos regulares, va, si yo digo clean, ¿cuál es el pasado de clean? Clean. Clean. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio? Clean. Ah, es lo mismo. Entonces... En los verbos regulares, acuérdense que los verbos regulares, todos terminan en ed. Si usted ya se sabe el pasado del verbo regular, automáticamente se sabe el pasado participio. Se escribe lo mismo y se pronuncia lo mismo. Juan, Juan, Juan Antonio, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Um, les decía que si se saben el, el pasado del verbo regular automáticamente se saben el pasado participio o sea, ahí no hay mucho problema pero en el caso de los irregulares si yo les digo uh, speak ¿cuál es el pasado de speak? Okay. Okay. Oh. ¿y el pasado participio? Spoken. Va, vale, entonces ahí sí hay que, hay que practicarlo, ¿verdad? Hay que memorizárselos. ¿Ok? Con los irregulares hay que memorizárselos. Hay otros que, por ejemplo, el cut, cut, el pasado es cut, y el pasado participio también es cut. O sea, estos, estos hay que aprendérselos. ¿Ok? Put, 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 cut, 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 uh, etcétera. 
¿ok? Eh, por ahí recuerdo que compartimos un listado de, de verbos en el grupo, regulares e, irregu eh, perdón, regulares e irregulares, y es, sería magnífico que ustedes pues siguieran este, aprendiéndoselos. Si son 100 verbos, ok, todavía pues faltan muchos más porque los verbos son muchos y hay que, hay que aprendérselos, sí o sí. Eh, pronunciación, eh, forma en pasado y en pasado participio. Eh, la otra semana, como les decía, vamos con presente perfecto y necesitamos que empecemos a, a manejar lo que es el pasado participio. Si yo les digo, por ejemplo, en español, para que vean que inglés, inglés funciona, pues, este, muy parecido al español, ¿verdad? Los tiempos que están en español están en inglés. Podemos hablar en presente en español, podemos hablar en presente en inglés. En pasado lo mismo, en presente perfecto lo mismo, en futuro lo mismo. Ok, los tiempos ahí están, solo lo que cambia son las estructuras. Y este, no es lo mismo que yo les diga, um, yo me levanto a las seis de la mañana a decirles, yo me he levantado a las cuatro. Es diferente, ¿verdad? Yo me he levantado a las cuatro. No es lo mismo decir, yo como um, hamburguesas a yo he comido hamburguesas. Son dos estructuras diferentes. Entonces, lo que vamos a estudiar la otra semana es justamente eso. Eh, para aprovechar, quizás, oh, ya casi se nos acaba el tiempo, pero no sé si todavía alguien que, hay alguien que quiera participar con la actividad de este día o alguien que tenga preguntas. Sí, Char, tengo una duda. Tío, mi Es que no me sale en el chat lo que usted estaba compartiendo. Uh, perdón, quiero ver, se lo estaba compartiendo quizás solo a uno. No, 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 no nos, pare ah, no nos parece. Perdón, se lo estaba compartiendo solo a, a Oscar. Sí, a mí sí me parece todo. Va, perdón, perdón. Ahorita va, ahí va. va ahí están, miren. Ahí están, ve, ahí les puse el ejemplo de clean, clean, clean. Eso son, es irregular. Speak, spoke, spoken, es irregular. Thank you. Cut, 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 irregular. Entonces, fíjense en la, en el, en la última forma, porque por, por decirles algo, clean significa limpiar. Eh, cleaned en pasado es limpio, pero ¿qué significa en, en pasado participio? Limpiado. Limpiado. Ese es el que nosotros tenemos que empezar a manejar a partir de la otra semana. Si yo digo speak en presente... Hablar. Hablar. Spoke. Habló. Ok, habló. Spoken. Hablado. Hablado. All right. Sí, cut. Cortado. Miren, ese, ese se escribe, en las tres formas se escribe igual. Y en pasado, cortó. Y en pasado participio, cortado. Entonces... Este, enfoquémonos ya en la otra semana para, para este, familiarizarnos con estas formas de, de los verbos y tener claro qué es lo que significa. Se los estoy adelantando porque presente perfecto es, es extenso, ¿ok? Y es bueno que si ustedes quieren, empiecen a estudiar cuáles son las estructuras, cómo se crean oraciones, quizás vean un video. Yo por ahí les voy a compartir algo para que se familiaricen este, en estos días que vienen y ya la próxima semana pues tengamos algo como un poquito más claro, ¿ok? Si no hay preguntas o participación alguna. Gisela, ¿cuáles eran las preguntas? No, la actividad que nos... Vale, ahorita, 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 ahorita. Sale en vale. el chat. Se... Ah, en el chat se los coloqué. Eso es lo que también faltaba, ¿verdad? Espera. Yo tenía una pregunta. Digan. Este, fíjense que ya terminé la plataforma, pero me parece que no puedo ver mi diploma. Porque estoy inscrita como mediador, algo así decía. 
a mí me aparecía que yo estaba inscrito en un curso y no estaba disponible el, el diploma para este curso, decía. Ajá. Hagamos Mm. una cosa, chicos, este, en el, en el WhatsApp coloquen, coloquen quienes tienen, quién, quienes tienen dificultad. ¿Cuál es la dificultad que, que presentan para que, para que los otros compañeros también nos ayuden a, a solventarlo? ¿Les parece? Teacher, me permite. Digan. Eh, hoy este me escribió uno de mis asesores y me dijo que todavía no habían emitido los diplomas. Ah, muchas Así gracias. es, por esa razón que nos aparece así. Muchas gracias. Teacher, yo también en, en módulos anteriores me aparecía y le pregunté a los administradores y me explicaron de que era como porque ellos dan los, los diplomas así como digitales, ¿verdad? Entonces por eso nos aparecen porque no los dan. A, al menos así algo así me, me, me explicó. Eso fue hace bastante tiempo porque como... En automático no sale. Ajá. En automático, perfecto. Pero de Tenemos igual manera, que esperar. sí, hay que esperar. Pero si, si el problema persiste, solo háganoslo saber en el grupo para que también este, nos, nos, nos apoyen por ahí a ver cómo lo solucionamos. Por ahí les coloqué ahora sí la actividad para, las actividades para el, el lunes. ¿okay? Tienen que contarnos 10 actividades. que han hecho últimamente, 10 actividades que no han hecho últimamente y que nos comenten de una actividad así que les encantó mucho, que les ha encantado. Quizás una, un viaje que hicieron o alguna película que vieron o algo, pero algo sorprendente. ¿Ok? Gracias, Cristian, por recordarnos que las actividades en las plataformas deben de ser terminadas a la brevedad posible. Recuérdense que ya estamos en la tercera semana. Ya la otra semana terminamos con este nivel y tenemos un, un examen también, un examen final. Así que listos y espero verlos pronto. God bless you. See you on Monday. Good night, teachers. Good night. 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 Good night.